Despite their athletic achievements, two Olympic athletes say they were subjected to racism and discrimination once they returned to the United States after meddling in the games back in the 1940s. Cronkite News reporter Walter Panade spoke to these two living legends about the work they're doing now, hoping to teach others through their life experiences. When you talk to a normal athlete and they've won a medal, you feel proud about that the rest of your life. And what a life Herb Douglas has lived. He wears his 96 years of age well, still active and with a big personality. Takeaways, he says, from his athletic career, culminating in an Olympic medal for long jump during the 1948 Olympics in London. And I won a bronze, and I revere my bronze just as much as anyone. Douglas, along with Harrison Dillard, are the two oldest African-American Olympians still alive. Dillard won two gold medals that same year in London. And when you see your name up there uh, and, you, and your result, and they play your country's national anthem, it's uh, another unforgettable feeling. Which is why Douglas and Dillard now share their experiences as black elite athletes at a time when racism and discrimination were still very much out in the open. Despite the fact that these men were representing their country, they were still treated like any other person when they came home. But that didn't stop Dillard from loving his country. Our country can meet all the crises that exist today and uh, solve the problems. Although segregation was a challenge in the 40s, 50s, and 60s, Douglas says his father gave him life advice that's helped him get through even the toughest of times. Analyze, organize, initiate, and follow through. Both Douglas and Diller say their hope with sharing what they went through is to show the younger generations the importance of persevering, no matter the challenges they may face. If you have a an idea of what you want to do, where you want to go, and uh, you've prepared for it, uh, and it comes true, then you're blessed. In Phoenix, Walter Benate reporting for Cronkite News.